know about this initiative Sandhan which Vijan IS has started. So now Sandhan, what it allows you to do here is that you can go and prepare a customized test for yourself. And you have all these options, like you can have a few questions in few minutes, like 7 questions in few minutes or 20 questions in few minutes. So that is the uh, significant feature which I don't think is available uh, at any other portal. So I do think that this was something which was missing for aspirants and Sandhan aims to rectify that. Students do not have to go anywhere. They can find previous year questions topic wise, sub topic wise on Sandhan portal. Hello aspirants. Welcome to Vision IS conversation series with our esteemed faculty aimed at improving the UPSC preparation for prelims 2024. So to talk on this, we are joined by our esteemed faculty for science and tech, Mr. Abhishek sir. So sir, a very warm welcome to you sir. Thanks a lot Ramakant. So sir, uh, continuing on the, the conversation about UPSC prelims preparation 2024, uh, on a daily basis you must be interacting with a lot of students. So sir, what are the challenges that the students are facing uh, when, when they come to you at this point of time with just 30, over 30 days of uh, remaining for prelims 2024? That's actually a very important and uh, good question. Uh, I think the biggest challenge will be what to do in these 30 days. Like you have so many things to study, there are so many subjects, UPSC has become quite uh, not predictable in the way they are framing their questions and options. And with that unpredictability, you have such a huge syllabus in front of you and you feel like how are you going to manage all of that in this limited time frame you have. So the biggest challenge I think will be this feeling of getting overwhelmed because of the sheer volume of the syllabus and how to manage effectively rest of the time. Right sir. So very rightly put sir. Uh, sir, talking about you know coverage of the syllabus uh, as such as a big problem for the students. So, so a very pertinent problem that the student faces is revision of this entire syllabus. So what would be your suggestions uh, you know, to approach or structure and better prioritize the revision for covering such a uh, you know, huge syllabus? Uh, that's a very relevant question. In these last 30 days of your preparation, uh, I think I will start with few pitfalls which aspirants need to avoid. The biggest pitfall here will be that you go and run after new type of material or a new book, somebody has told you about some coaching institute material or some new book and you are running after it. You feel like that maybe you are missing out on something. Don't do that. This examination is not about just about how much knowledge you have acquired. It is also about the aptitude which you show in examination. If it would have been an examination about facts, then it would have been very similar to many other examinations which many government agencies conduct. UPSC is known for not just vastness of the syllabus, but it is also known for the way they are arranging questions. They are checking your knowledge, but they are also checking your aptitude. So this is something which must be avoided, that do not go and run after new type of material. What you need to do is that you need to divide your time into small time gaps. For example, make a daily timeline. Do not think about what you are going to do in those 30 days. That's not very fruitful again. You divide your day, every day you plan your day. And every day you can plan, for example, in morning, you are revising few static topics. Then in the afternoon, you are focusing upon current affairs. In evening, you attempted few previous year questions of UPSC. So divide your time wisely. You also uh, solved some questions of logical reasoning and math. So do not take CSAT paper too lightly. So rather than trying to run after new material, whatever you have studied, focus upon that also. I often say that, uh, I often say this to my students that expertise comes from doing same thing again and again. You do not go to a city and find a surgeon who is very young. You will only find a very well established surgeon who has been doing this for last 20-30 years. Now you do not have 20-30 years, but you do have this time. So whatever you have studied, whatever basic textbook you have studied, focus upon that only and then go and attempt few test papers so that you have a record of or you have a track of how well you are doing. Uh, go and look at the previous year questions of UPSC, that will help you a lot. So, so sir, very important point made by you is that practice is, very, is going to be very key to the success of prelims. So with the limited time that we have, that is 30 days, just over a 30 days time that we have for UPSC prelims. So how important is the mock test 
to be incorporated in the study routine and what should be the frequency of the mock test sir okay i again i will dip, i will talk about the significance of mock tests also first so what mock test is not let me first answer that mock test is not an indication of what you are going to do in upsc examination but what mock test is it is an indication of how well prepared you are in a particular topic let's say you have studied well about fundamental rights and then still you are getting a question wrong about article 21 so clearly there is a knowledge gap here so a mock test helps you in identifying the knowledge gaps which are left few important themes which you should have known but you do not know right now and that is why attempting mock test so that you can enhance your knowledge so how i think of mock papers is that whenever you are attempting a paper there will be few questions which you know you get it right few questions where perhaps you knew the theme but you still got it wrong and in such uh, themes and those themes are important by the way so in that case it means there is a knowledge gap so you use mock test to fill that knowledge gap right and few themes which you did not even know that something which is important and you did not even know maybe something from current affairs which you may have missed use mock test for that so that is the purpose of test series uh, so in last few days yes do attempt few questions particularly previous year questions of upsc should be focused upon but do attempt few questions so that you will get you will have a very good hang of perhaps some areas which needs more and more revision right so 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 far the second part of the question so how frequent should uh, how fr how frequent should be the mock test uh, that a aspirant should take i, I think uh, if i have to talk about that even few questions in a day not the entire 100 like entire mock paper so if you aim to do that daily then you can take even 10 15 questions in a day and that is also more than enough uh, if you do want to sit for 2 hours then maybe one mock paper in a week I, i think is more than enough or perhaps one mock paper in two week that also can be quite good here but if you if you want to do it on a daily basis then you can even pick 10 questions or 15 questions and that also might be quite well for preparation right sir thank you for the suggestion sir so now moving on sir to the test series there the students have been very curious about this innovative feature that has been added to their you know uh, all india test series so so what is this and and what is this innovative feature which is sandhan so if you could sir throw light on this feature of okay the test I, I, so yes i was actually quite pleased to know about this initiative sandhan which vijay nayak has started uh, first let me tell you about how because i have been part of test series prelims test series preparation not right now but i was part of it few years ago and we have a very rigorous process how we make questions so each and every question which we choose in our test series it undergoes series of review and uh, we uh, we look at the sources we look at the authenticity of sources we try to provide a comprehensive explanation and with that we prepare our test series so what sandhan now has done here is that we know a question fits into a particular topic or sub topic or a particular theme So what Sandhan as a portal has done here is that all of the previous year questions asked by Vision IS in All India Test Series, but also all of the questions asked by UPSC uh, in previous years, we have a repository. So we have a very good repository of more than fifteen thousand questions. And at Sandhan portal, what we have done here is that let's say I as an aspirant, I am not feeling, uh, or I will not use the word I am not feeling very confident, but I feel like that I need to revise a particular topic. i read about let's say basic concepts of ecology and i want to know and attempt few questions that how will i do so now sandhan what it allows you to do here is that you can go and prepare a customized test for yourself and you have all these options like you can have a few questions in few minutes like seven questions in few minutes or 20 questions in few minutes and you can then go on to select a particular topic also you get uh, you attempt those paper you immediately have your result that how many questions you got it correct how many got you incorrect you also have some suggestions that what more can be done given the uh, uh, performance what more can be done to improve further in this particular topic so the beauty of sandhan here is that rather than uh, looking at each and every topic simultaneously you can have a very personalized specific intervention on specific set of topics so just say for example 
let's say there are some difficult topics, factual topics like ancient or medieval history. And I read few things about it. I looked at previous year questions, but now I want to check myself. I will go and select 10 questions of ancient history and within ancient history, Sandhan allows you to further go into, let's say, I want to go and uh, attempt questions from Mauryan dynasty only. And you can do that, that how much now I know more about Mauryan dynasty. So that is the uh, significant feature, which I don't think is available uh, at any other portal. So I do think that this was something which was missing for aspirants and Sandhan aims to rectify that. So just to be curious, uh, as you talked about Sandhan, uh, having more than 15,000 plus questions uh, of high quality questions uh, in the Vision IS repository, does it also have previous year questions uh, into the portal or uh, these have to be solved elsewhere? No, no, as I have, as I mentioned earlier that we have a option for students that either you can choose Vision IS questions or PYQ questions or both. You can have a mix and match also. So, for example, if students want to feel that how well they can do in on previous year questions, then there is an option available where they will only go and click questions from PYQ from a specific topic. So, what we have done here is that all of the previous year questions, we have divided them again in topic, subtopic. So, going back to the similar example that from a particular topic uh, and a subtopic, you want previous year questions of UPSC and yes, you can have all of that at your disposal. So the answer is yes, students do not have to go anywhere. They can find previous year questions topic wise, subtopic wise on Sandhan portal. So sir, that you know sounds very interesting and exceptional feature that would help our students as well. It is very interesting. Yeah. Right. So sir, uh, as we all know that you know the All India Test Series and the Abhas has always been the go-to choices for the aspirants as well as the toppers. So, so how can an aspirant integrate this feature of Sandhan into its uh, All India Test Series, uh, uh, you know, uh, so how, how can they actually yeah. capitalize on this okay. so, initiative? So as I said, going back to the previous answer which I gave that what is the purpose of mock test? Mock test aims to tell us about our strengths and weaknesses. I will repeat this, mock test does not tell you what you are going to do on prelims day what you are going to do in UPC examination. But it does tell you your strength areas, your weak areas. It does help in filling the knowledge gap. So this year's All India Test Series, you already have enrolled yourself into. You have attempted a paper. You did analysis of that paper in after attempting that paper. And you found that there are certain areas which perhaps needs more revision. You did that revision. And now I want to go and only from those topics, I want to solve those papers. So how we can integrate All India Test Series and Abhyas with Sandhan here is that identify your weak areas particularly and then go and revise those weak areas and then go and attempt some papers on Sandhan portal and that will further give you boost your confidence that whatever you have studied, you actually now know more about it and you are more equipped to attempt objective questions in prelims examination. Thank you, sir. That was a very comprehensive description of our in, uh, initiative. Uh, and that was a great insightful information for the students as well. So moving on with your vast experience of the subject that you teach, that is science and tech. So I would li I'd like to ask you a few questions on uh, science and tech. So uh, the first question would be that, sir, for a subject specific as, such as science and tech, so what should be the approach uh, for the students considering that we have now over just 30 days for prelims. So should there be a different or a very specific subject specific approach for science and tech? As I suggested earlier, I don't think you need to do anything new here. So science tech uh, is one of the most scoring areas in prelims examination. With minimum level of effort, you get maximum level of marks. And the reason is very simple because questions are not factual. Questions are conceptual, they are analytical, questions are application oriented. Even if it is a question of basic science, it is one of the like popular known concepts of science first. If it is a question of technology, then if you can define a technology, if you know the some specific applications of technology, and even if you can do that, it will be often more than enough to solve questions in prelims examination. So what I will recommend here is that Whatever you already have studied, you st have studied about some of the missions launched by ISRO in last one, 1.5 years, 
you studied about some of the technologies which have been in news a lot from let's say biotechnology or information and communication technology or some development happened in defense focus on those things so focus on current affairs and whatever you have studied keep revising them understand a technology just if i ask you to define a technology in few words can you do that can you also tell me some possible applications of that technology can you tell me some limitations and challenges so this approach should be utilized for science and tech do not try to do anything new here whatever you have studied just focus on the revision and most importantly when you go and attempt prelims paper then have faith in your aptitude the moment you thought of appearing in prelims examination you knew that you can clear this examination so have that faith and uh, analyze all the options and i'm very sure that you'll find right answer i'm i'm specifically talking about science and technology question you'll find right answer in most of the questions i actually think it is one of the most scoring areas in prelims syllabus thank you sir that was a very comprehensive list of important areas that the student will be benefited with so sir thank you sir for such an insightful session on how to prepare prelims in the last 30 days thanks a lot for having me ramadan thank you viewers for watching this insightful session by abhishek sir all the very best for upsc prelims 2024